How's it going everyone? My name is Roger. And I'm Maida. Welcome to Our Travels. So in this video, we're going to talk about the best locations to visit in Austin, Texas. We're going to talk about uh, a little bit about the city. We're going to go on some nature trails, some waterfalls. Uh, we're going to do some mural hunting and a few surrounding areas nearby. Ready? Ready? Let's go. Let's do get it. started. All right. So as you may know, Austin, Texas is the capital of Texas. So we started with the tour of the capital and uh, you can do free tours. When we visited, we actually had someone doing the tour with us for free. But now, as of now, you can do it on your own. A self-guided tour with a brochure. It's worth it. You're going to get to learn some details about the capital. Uh, you're going to see the Senate and the House of Representatives where the voting takes place. And we think it's worth it, especially because it's free. Yeah. And only 40 minutes from the capital, there is a waterfall called the Hamilton Pool Reserve. Believe me, I didn't think there was any waterfalls in Texas, so I was super surprised to see this. And uh, there's a little trail that you do before you get to the waterfall. The water is really cold all year round. It's around 50 degrees. We went around November, so I was the only one that got in. No one brave enough to get in. <laughs> it was too cold for me. <laughs> and um, yeah. Okay, so uh, things to keep in mind, unfortunately you cannot camp in this waterfall, but you are able to picnic, so make sure you bring food, snacks, because there's no stores there that sell food. Um, so also you need to reserve online, remember that as of right now, you need to reserve for any, any day that you're gonna go. When you reserve online, you pay $11, and when you arrive, uh, you need to pay $15 cash per, uh, per car. Uh, so we'll we'll leave the website on the on the comment on, on the bottom so that way you you can see all the details and also you can see when are you able to swim. Only 15 minutes away from Hamilton Pool, you're gonna see Jacob's Well. This is that famous well that you see all over Instagram. Um, it is super beautiful. The the time for you to swim is around May to September. We went on November, so we weren't able to swim because they closed it off for restoration. This is an artesian artesian spring, spring I believe it's called. Yeah, and the depth is 30 feet. And uh, unfortunately, you can ask Cuba here. It's really interesting because of the well. It has like caverns on the on the bottom and it's interesting. Um, the water temperature is constant, it's 68 uh, Fahrenheit degrees um, annually. And during the summertime when you are able to swim, you have to make reservations. They only charge uh, $9 per adult and $5 per child, but you do need to make reservations. I think you have it like up to two hours for uh, to enjoy the swimming. Okay, so now let's go back to Austin City. If you're not able to drive those 40 minutes out to those waterfalls, it's okay. There's one near the city. It's called Sculpture Falls. Uh, this is also another beautiful waterfall. Uh, it's part of the 8 mile trail of uh, Bart Bar Barton's Greenbelt. And uh, this is a super nice trail full of trees. We advise you to wear some comfy shoes, uh, bring some snacks because there's really nothing to purchase along the way. Um, I jumped in the water. It was super cold, but it was really fun. And we advise you visiting here. Uh, if you want to do trails that are a little bit smaller, we did Wild Basin uh, Wilderness Preserve. That's also a nice little waterfall. Um, this is a beautiful place to just relax, uh, read a book, you know, a place to go with the kids and stuff like that. So definitely worth it. And we also we also visited McKinney State Park. We we were there for the day. We visited the Lower Falls of McKinney. And it's, it was really beautiful. We since it was November, it's fall, so you see the the, uh, the leaves changing. Cha the yeah, the leaves changing colors. It's nice. It's relaxing. We did a short trail, but you can actually camp here. So if you like camping, um, just remember that you do need to make reservations. We didn't know, otherwise we would have done it. Uh, we'll leave the website somewhere on the bottom so you can know where. And you know what? We were planning on staying only three days in Austin, Texas. We thought that would be. Um, you know enough, but we ended up finding so many cool spots like the ones we we're mentioning that we ended up staying a week And it was beautiful. Hey guys real quick. Don't forget to hit that like button It really helps us out a lot and share the video for whoever's gonna go to Austin, Texas yeah. Okay, so since I like street art we went on a little mural hunt and the first one that we went to is the I love you so much 
and uh, this one is actually located on Joe's Coffee and we recommend you to go there in the morning we went there in the morning we got our coffee we enjoyed there a little bit and then we got to take a cute picture mm -hmm. and the next uh, mural that we did visit was love from Austin uh, we thought it was really cool as well this is next to the Pr Prima Dora store um, if you're looking for a gifts or souvenir, you know, this is a good place to get it. Uh, we actually spent, you know, quite some time here. And yeah. And we also went to visit the Greetings from Austin, Texas. So this one is located at 1720 uh, South 1st Street in Austin. So, and we also recommend it. Yeah, and we also visited uh, You Are My Butter Half. Um, this is also a really cool uh, mural to stop at. This one's located on 200 East uh, Martin Luther King Boulevard. And since you already know, we spent a week in Austin, so we were having fun there. We went to the Austin Public Library, and it's a brand new library. It's actually really nice, but uh, one of the reasons I recommend you to go and see it is because on the second floor, go on the outside area, and it has a beautiful view of the city and the river. It's really nice. Yeah, that, uh, to be honest, that's like the best library I've ever seen, the most uh, beautiful uh, library ever. And we also, um, around the capital, we uh, rented a scooter. Um, so if they're still available, we recommend it. It's, it the city is just nice to, to see it. Austin, Texas is known for its yearly music festival. We weren't able to make it to that, but we really enjoy the city. The people uh, give us such a good vibe. The place is naturally beautiful. There's even a, a, a natural swimming pool called Barton Springs in the middle of the city. Um, that's right, this is like a swimming pool that has no chlorine. You're swimming in natural spring water, something that you would drink, you know? and. Um, and you do have to pay to get in here. It's it's around four dollars to nine dollars for non-residents. Um, so if you're there in the summer, we definitely recommend stopping by so you can swim here. And the water is 70 degrees year round. It's really family friendly. They actually have a little museum in there for for kids. So I think that day we visited, they had like a school uh, kids doing a little tour. So it's definitely family friendly. We also visited Georgetown. This is a historical town about 40 minutes away from Austin, Texas. If you have some time, stop by. It is really, really beautiful. There's also some water nearby. We visited the Blue Hole uh, Park. It's really cool. Uh, it would be perfect time to go in summer because uh, they have picnic tables. So perfect, again, for families. Uh, when we visited, the water was really cold. I think it must have been like 40 degrees because it felt freezing, but we still uh, try to get at least our feet wet and it was just beautiful to, to see it. So when is the best time uh, to visit Austin? And the best time is considered from March to May and from September to November. This is when the weather is uh, the 70s and 80s. In here, the summers are from um, June to August. This is when it gets really hot in the 90s and the humidity levels are high. Uh, personally, I actually would like to go back in the summer and jump in those waters just to see how it is. But it all depends on you what kind of climate you like. Well, this concludes our video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any comments, anything like that, just leave it in the comment section and we will answer them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can follow our journey on our Instagram, RM Travels, and that's it. We'll see you in our next video. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Take care.